Welcome back to the Top Down Shooter tutorial for Godot. We are still in Blender making our animations for our character. Now I'm only going to go over the animations for the main character and it's pretty much just going to be an idle animation and a walk animation. Um, but you might want to have some other animations that you create, especially for like the, the enemy characters later on. I'll create them, I just won't make videos for them because I don't think it's necessary as I'm going to cover it all in here. We're going to switch over to the animation tab and you can turn on preview mode here if you want but what we're going to do is we're going to be creating this animation here this walk animation but I'm going to create a wild, wild, a wild an idle animation first so down here where it says dope sheet I'm going to switch over to action editor and we're going to create a new action this action is going to be called idle now to do this we're going to select this here this is what our character is going to look like when they're idle we're going to hit I and do lock, rote, scale. This is locking or keyframing the location, the rotation, and the scale. And then we're going to move across to maybe about frame 100 and do the same thing. I, location, rotation, scale. Then we're going to move to frame 120. But this time I am going to rotate the head along the Z axis a little bit. Maybe, maybe that way. And then I'm going to select everything and hit I, location, rotation, scale. I'm going to go back to 140. Hit R, Z. It's going to look the other way. I, location, rotation, scale. And then back to 160. This is going to be R, Z. And I'm going to bring it back to the center now. How do I know where the center is? I'm actually just going to R, Z. Ooh, change that to zero there, and that should be set to one. Okay, that should be at the right place, and I'll select everything and hit I, location, rotation, scale. So if I read down the bottom here, I'm gonna change the frame end to 160 for this. Okay, so I'll go back down here, I hit play, and up the top here and over here, you'll see it doesn't do much for a bit, and then he kind of looks left and looks right, and then stops, and then that's gonna repeat again. So if we were to leave our character idle, he's gonna look around for a bit and then go on. Now we're gonna create a new action here, a new action. This one is gonna be called um, walk, or you could call it run, we'll call it run. Now for this, I'm actually gonna delete all of these. X, delete keyframes. You'll see if I switch back to idle, they're still there, but the run one is new. So now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna set him in a run pose for this. So I'm gonna bring this up here and we wanna set him in this kind of pose here. Uh, can I bring this file in? I may be able to, no. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this here and I'll bring it up as I need to. So I wanna kind of set this here. Keeping in mind we don't have feet, we've just got hooves, I guess. I'm not sure what you'd call them, stumps. So we're gonna rotate this here. Looking at this one, it's gonna kind of be back and I guess like this. So I'm rotating it along the x-axis and the forward foot is kind of Rx and then Rx like that. Okay, so that's our starting keyframe here. So we're going to hit I Location, rotation, scale. Make sure when you do this, you do lock the rotation to the X axis in this case so that you don't get, you know, you're looking at rotating it like this and you, oh yeah, that looks pretty good. And then you spin around and his legs flown off to the side. So make sure you lock it to that X axis. I'll just close that now. Um, so we've got that. So I'm going to go forward about 10 frames here. And I want to put it in this position here. Okay, so this foot has come down and touched the ground a little bit more. Rx. It's going out about the same angle there, but it's coming back a little bit. And this one is kind of going down, but the back. Rx. But this is going back like that. All right, now I'm going to select those, I, 
location rotation scale. Go to frame 20, and I'm just gonna repeat this. So this one's gonna be forward more. So Rx is gonna be forward to about there, and this is going to be back to there. Rx. That looks about right. And then this one is gonna be pretty much straight down, but at the back. So I'll select that backbone, Rx and Rx. Just get that like that. Okay, I, location, rotation, scale. Let's go to frame 30. And this is the one that we're up to here. So this leg is gonna be quite up. Rx, move that bone forward. This one is going to be quite back to here. So almost straight at the back there. So I, location, rotation, scale. So I'm doing this 10 frames at a time. The animation might be too slow, but I'm pretty sure there's a tool that we can use to speed it up or slow it down. So we've got this one, we're up to this one here. So I'm gonna make that come pretty much down here and like that. And then this one at the back is going to just be lit, starting to lift up and come forward a little bit. Like that. So we'll location, rotation, scale that. Go to frame 50. So we're up to, we've done uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we're up to this one. So we want to have that back leg going up and forward, and this one going forward and down. So let's bring that down. Let's bring it down a little bit. I can hold shift to get more precise movements. And I'm just going to see where we've got that going like that at the moment. You can see that looks pretty good in terms of a run animation. So this is going to come down a little bit more on frame 50. So this one here, Rx down to here, and this leg's going to straighten up. Whoa. So we're on frame this one, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we're on this one here. Move that like that. And this one at the back is going to be like that, like that. Select all of these, I, location, rotation, scale. Now we're up to this bit. So this leg is gonna be pretty much straight up and down. And I'm on frame 60 now, Rx. And then that's that one, coming back a little bit. This one at the back is coming up to here. And what's the lower leg doing? It is keeping upright, Rx, like that. Let's keyframe all of that. And then that's the passing. Then there's this one where this leg is back to there. I suppose we can rotate that just a little bit. This one, however, is right up here and the foot can come out a little bit like that. So I, location, rotation, scale. And then we're back to the last frame. So what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna select the first frame. I think I made a mistake there, let's just see. No, it actually looks pretty good. We're gonna grab these first frames here uh, can I draw a box around them? I'll make them bigger. I'm going to right click. I'm going to duplicate those frames and I'm going to move them up to frame 70. So what I should get, if I click change this to 70 frames now, and then play that, I should get a decent walk animation. It's a little bit janky uh, and I could smooth it out, but I think for the most part, that actually looks pretty good. Okay, so if I go to the top down view, seven you can see it looks like he's walking and that's what it's going to look like for our character we could speed this up let's see if we can speed it up i'm not 100 percent sure on how to do this it's the first time i've actually done it uh, and let's go ahead and see what we can do control we'll select all of these and right click 
Um, we don't actually want easing. I just want to, oh, okay, this is gonna be easy. We're just gonna select that. I'm gonna bring that back to there. I'm gonna bring that back to 10, bring those back to 15, make it twice as fast. 30, 35, and I'll change the end of that animation to be 35, and I'll hit play. That's a bit better. Cool, so we've got those animations there. I'm gonna save this, and you'll see that I can switch between the two animations now, idle and run. So in the next video, we're gonna jump back into Godot. We've got these animations done. We're gonna look at importing it into Godot. You could make more animations if you wanted to. You could attempt to make some kind of reload animation. That might be quite tricky considering the very low polyness that we've got. Um, but there's lots of things that you could do with this. Uh, you could you know, think about a pickup animation perhaps, or uh, we don't necessarily want a jump animation, but maybe like a dodge animation. You don't have to add them. Um, I think that this is complex enough and adding like a simple zombie walk animation uh, might be cool as well because we're going to use this same model later on uh, with a different skin for our enemies.